All right, Mr. D, tree bugs. Yep, we got some right here in front of us. Yeah. Yep. Bagworms, let's talk about bagworms okay. first. We let's have three, three little cocoons right here. Uh, you know, if you see those right now, uh, they're done. They've already, they, they, they are pupated and, and there's one generation of bagworms per year and, and they hatch out in you know, mid to late May, early mm -hmm. June and that is really the only time you can do anything about it. So if you got that problem right now, just pick off the ones you can reach and, and because that will do some good because these things are gonna, they'll, uh, actually they'll overwinter as eggs in one of these pouches, you know. And, and if you happen to pick off the, the pouch that has the eggs, it's full of eggs, then you'll help, help your population next year. And that was about 300 eggs. In each. Yeah. Pouch. Each pouch, yeah. wow. or 300 cocoon. or more. Um, but just keep in mind, if you if you had a problem this year, you're going to have a problem next year probably. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so go, and you're you're going to have to treat before you see the problem next year. I mean, when the uh, caterpillars are really small, they're easy to kill with BT. Bacillus thuringiensis is one of the best products to use. Late May, if you spray the trees that you've had a problem with. And BT is a product that you can use in a hose-in sprayer. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you just want to, BT, Bacillus thuringiensis, it's a, it's a bacteria and you just want to get it up in the tree where when the caterpillars feed on it, it'll give them a very, very bad stomach ache and they'll die. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing on the bagworm. Not a whole lot that you can do now, but except maybe pick a few of them off if you can reach them. Okay. This is the fall webworm and it's not even fall yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not fall. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, these things, these ought to be called summer, fall Should webworms, be. I guess. But uh, classic, classic web, uh, always out on the end of the branches. Uh, also, the BT product, the same product that we talked about uh, killing uh, uh, the bagworms will also do a pretty good job on, mm -hmm. on the fall webworms. They're unsightly. Uh, they're not going to kill the tree. Uh, they really, really like pecan trees. What kind of tree is that on? I can't, there's not enough leaves left. It's a peach tree. That's a peach tree. They yeah. like fruit. They like ornamental mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, p uh, fruit and nut trees they, they really like. Yeah, that peach tree is actually out of my yard. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 you're, and the tree's still alive, isn't it? It's still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, really not a whole lot to worry about. I, I do know that all winter long, I've got a lot of pecan trees in my, in, in my house, and all winter long these webs will It'll fall off, and yeah. they'll, you know, you'll have a big mass of, of webs and leaves, and that'll fall off every once in a while on the ground. They'll be scattered around. But my lawnmower, the mulching blade, does a good job of chewing <laughs> up as I'm chewing up the other leaves. I usually just open that up and, and let the birds come in and do their, mm -hmm. do their job. They, they like yeah. the, the caterpillars, and that that is a defense mechanism uh, because it's hard for a bird to get in there. A bird's not going to try to tear into that uh, on its own. Yeah. But if you help them a little bit, they'll. They'll get in there and, and eat them. How many generations are we talking about? You I know? think there's three generations okay. per year on, on the fall webworm. Uh, unlike the eastern tent caterpillar, which only has, you know, the early spring, right. uh, it only has one generation per year. But I think there are three generations of the fall webworm per year. Starting in, starting early, you know, in June yeah. and, and, and going through, through the fall. Yeah, I've seen a lot out now, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. All right, any more tree bugs out there that we need to uh, know about? For our ornamentals or fruit trees, you know, uh, uh, probably aphids on pecans yeah. and, and and some of the maple trees are will, will be secreting honeydew and there'll be some sap. You'll, folks say it's sap dripping off <laughs> the trees onto my car and onto my yeah. lawn furniture and all that. It's really not sap out of the tree. It's honeydew out of aphids, which is I guess indirectly sap. Yeah, yeah. 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 indirectly an aphid, and it's really aphid poo poo. <laughs> Uh, but uh, that, that may, you may be seeing that this summer, but uh, I don't know what kind of calls are you getting at the extension office? Uh, boars, of course. Oh man, that's yeah. a tough one too. Yeah, that's uh, a tough on one. The fruit trees. and Fruit trees, you know, uh, especially uh, yeah, peach trees, so you know what that is. Peach tree boar, so peach tree basically, boar. you know, I, I don't know of anything. Uh, if you have a peach tree infected with peach tree boar, you pretty much write it off. Wow. Plant something else after you take that Yeah, because then time and critical if you're trying to control the peach tree board. Exactly. Mid-June, early to mid-June, mm -hmm. you have to keep a protective uh, insecticide coat on that, the base of that tree. Spray the base and lower limbs. Isn't it also really bad on your ornamental cherry trees? Is that the any, same insect? Any kind of yeah. 
fruit, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, peach, plum, and nectarine especially, but but the ornamental, you know, peach, plums, and, and, and cherries. Yeah, it and seems like, like everything that. in a prunish genus, mm -hmm. yeah. right. you know, for the most part, your stone right. fruits. Uh, it's actually uh, the adult, you never see the adult, it's a little, looks more like a wasp than, than a moth, but it's a moth that uh, uh, is the adult, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen one out. Wow. They, okay. I guess they're nocturnal, and uh, they, um, but you, the only way to con, you know, control them is to prevent them, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. only, and that's what the commercial guys have to do. Okay. Uh, we did get a couple of calls about stink bugs and pecans. Stink bugs and pecans. Uh, two bricks, you know. <laughs> watch, watch your thumbs. Oh, watch man. your thumbs, you know. Two uh, bricks. Oh. They're, they're, uh, some of the pyrethrins will, <laughs> when you spray it directly on them, will take them out. But, you know, stink bugs are very strong flyers, and you can kill every stink bug in your yard, and and they'll fly in from your neighbors. So if you've got a small specimen tree, you can go out there and, and, and treat because they do, they miss your pecans up. They yeah. have piercing sucking mouth parts and they'll stick their proboscis in the, in the, the fruit, the soft fruit, and they'll inject a substance and then start pulling that will kind of dissolve the inside of that pecan and then they'll suck it out. And then that's why the pecan will go on and, and, and it will mature and you'll have little black spots in the fruit. And uh, or in, in the pecan meat, and uh, uh, won't hurt you to eat it, but right. you know I'd prefer not to have the little spots in my pecans. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure most folks would. <laughs> but the only thing is to use one of the pyrethrins uh, to, you know, if you have a small tree that you can spray, but a big tree. Yeah, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. D. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.